All right, we are in full crisis mode right now. This is, you wouldn't believe this. We are basically out of gelling sugar. Like we have like one, two, two and a half-ish bags. This is not nearly enough. The, the fruit trees, they're like, they have flowers right now. So it will take only like two, maybe three months before we are overflowing with fruit that we have to make jam out of. And this will only do a couple kilograms. And just so you understand the important skill of this problem, uh, gelling sugar in the Netherlands is like, like 80 cents a bag. And, and really that is something we cannot afford. So we have to get it from Germany. And in Germany it is like 50, 55 cents a bag. So that's like a good 30, 30 cents difference. So yeah, if we're gonna go all the way to Germany, I guess we might as well get two bags. So that's like a 60 cent difference. So if we can get to Germany for 60 cents, I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. So off we go to Germany. So the purpose of this video is twofold. Obviously, uh, <laughs> we're not just going to Germany for for some sugar, although that is an important part of it. Don't, don't get me wrong. What we're doing here is one of our short holidays to Germany. We do this like three, four times a year. We go to Germany uh, in the Eiffel region, which is very pretty. Uh, lots of hills, not really super mountainy. Uh, one of the reasons we bought the car is to be able to go to Germany uh, by ourselves, but obviously the original battery capacity was not nearly enough uh, to get there. Uh, we would have to charge like four or five times. Having such a short range is not really a problem with lots of chargers, but it is kind of expensive. And with the extended range, we have one really big advantage free charging here we are being iced <laughs> at a free charger this is uh, a little which is a supermarket in genk belgium uh, quite a ways away it's like uh, 180 kilometers from where we live and uh, this was our first stop we charged up and went our way into the hills and had another stop and this one wasn't necessary the reason we charged here at the Nissan dealership because at our destination we didn't want to uh, charge for too long. So we decided to fast charge here a little bit. The availability of free DC quick charging, even though the chargers are pretty far apart, uh, because of the extended range of the car, we we're able to charge there and basically drive for free in almost all of Europe, which is amazing. Now, the second reason we're going to Germany is to really test out the aerodynamics, test out whether the wheel caps are making any discernible difference. Keep in mind that on previous runs with this car, averaged 130 watt hours per kilometer, 125 ish. On this trip, the starting leg to Henk, uh, we only used 110 watt hours per kilometer. So that is a good 10% less, which was very encouraging. Now, when everything was said and done, uh, we did go into the mountains and this does use quite a bit more. So we ended up at about 135, 140 watt hours per kilometer, which is still significantly better than back in March, the last time we were there with the extender. Back then we used about 155 watt hours per kilometer. We are seeing a consistent improvement. Now, of course, this partially has to do with the weather. Uh, it is much warmer and that does play into it. But even with this kind of weather, uh, we did drive before with this weather, but without the wheel caps. And we still averaged 125 watt hours per kilometer. So I'm, I'm starting to feel that they do actually make a difference and that the aero mods are worth pursuing. Now on the way back, we decided, or actually I decided, that it would be a nice uh, try to go directly to Little Tilburg which is 240 kilometers from our German holiday destination. And 240 kilometers is really skirting the range of our car normally. But we got there easily. Uh, we only used 105 watt hours per kilometer on the entire drive. So that means we only used about 25 kilowatt hours. And we managed to charge it almost completely full at uh, the little during our just regular shopping. So this would mean that with just slightly easier driving, 
we could have probably driven the entire way. We wouldn't have had to charge and we could have gone well over 300 kilometers on a single charge. And that is pretty much what I want to do. Uh, I want to mod this car to the point that the aerodynamics are so good that we don't need a bigger battery. We can do 300 kilometers in one go just driving normally. All right, so this is a week later of me uh, looking back at a couple more data points. So in the meantime, we have driven some more and uh, I've analyzed the leaf spy logs from uh, the holiday. And uh, really, there is no other way to explain the big difference in uh, consumption than to think that those wheel covers actually helped, which I didn't expect them to help like any measurable amount. But I guess from the 12 to 13 percent difference in consumption that we saw, about half of that is the wheel covers. So it's like more than 5 percent which is huge, which also means that if I'm going to make skirts and other aero mods, I should see differences, which is very encouraging. The least pipe logs will be in the description. And uh, yeah, so far for my little bit rambly update about the consumption of my car. So see you next time, uh, hopefully with more like cool stuff.